Alexander and Zale here. Today I'll be teaching you about floats, uh, XYZ, um, rocket shell, as well as to save and load your location. So the first thing you need is an incline. Once again, if you watch my other videos, you can select these keybinds, it's going to get a lot easier. So your XYZ is going to be a float value. And we don't know the um, the value type. Not the value type, the, uh, the value, sorry. So we're going to do a first scan. Then we're going to go up and we're going to do increase value. Increase value. We're going to go down and do a uh, decrease value. Decrease value. And then we're going to hold left to do unchanged value. And as you can see, we still have a lot of addresses. So what do we do? We could have been smart and changed some the start and stop right here to something around this area, but I think I'm just gonna scroll down. And it should be somewhere around here. So these all look like one of my X, Y, and Z's. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this right here. I'm gonna change to 55. Nothing happens. Or actually, no changing. It's bugging out. That's what happened. 55. Cheat engine does not like this. We saw we moved right here. Let's add this to the list. Let's see if we can go higher. Okay. So this is one of our locations. So we can go ahead and get out of this. And we go to browse memory region. And we're going to right click down here. And we're going to click um, display type. Click on float. Let me see right here, we have our X, Y, and Z, and just to verify, we're going to test each one of them, obviously. So, X is going to be your left and right, Y is going to be your forward and back, and Z is going to be your up and down in video games. So, we're going to take this number right here, and we're going to change it to like a 1, and you see we move to the left a little bit. If we're going to change it to anything higher, we're going to move to the right. So, we're going to name this our X. If we change this right here, we should move forward or back. I'm going to do a positive number, so I should move forward. Oh no, I guess it's backwards. Okay, so I move backwards, so this is our Y value. And then this right here should be our Z. So if I do a high number, I go up in the air. So if I add this to the list, that's going to be our Z. So in the same area is going to be our row pigeon, y'all, which this looks like it. How do I know? Well, there you look just like our <laughs> X, Y, and Z pretty much. And then there's a zero following them because our um, our row is always going to be zero. Change this, it goes up. Change this, it goes left and right. Change this, changes our row. So how do we identify row pitch yellow? I don't know. <laughs> I forget it a lot. So our well, the last thing about us doing a side flip or you know a side roll. That's going to be our row, obviously. Um, our yellow is going to be our left and right, and our pitch is our up and down. Okay, so let's do it again. Let's change this to like a 38. We went up, so that's going to be our pitch. We're going to change this. Or Actually, we already know that this is going to be our um, yellow, since this was our roll on the back. So we're just going to name it yellow. And obviously this is our roll. Okay. And these numbers don't change as you move, which I don't know, sucks, whatever. But they will change if you change them, obviously. So now that we have our XYZ and uh, row pitch yell, we're going to go ahead and start coding it. Um, so it's going to be lengthy, so buckle up. We're gonna make some buttons here. I'm gonna name it set X. Make it a little bit bigger just in case. I don't really care about the design. Um, you can just wait tutorials, so I don't really care that much. Let's see. So 
So the plan here is when you click save right here, it's gonna save your location, and when you click load, it's gonna load your location. Um, the plan for these is you're gonna be able to type in a custom number right here, and once you press this button, it's gonna be able to change it. And then you can, you know, set it for each one. And the plan for these labels right here is to grab your information and display it right here. So how do we display our information? We need to make a timer. And we're gonna change this uh, from false to true. And we're gonna change it to 500 milliseconds. And then we're gonna double click on it. So I'm gonna say label one dot text equals set x colon space plus we're gonna be reading our information so we'll do m dot read and it's a float so we're reading a float and we're gonna add the um, address right here and add a semicolon so that's how you read it so I'm gonna do that for each one of them All right, so I went ahead and fast forward it, but obviously you're gonna change the label one to X, you know, whatever you read it in. So this is my X, this is my Y, this is my Z, you know. You're gonna change each label to the designated name. And then you're gonna do set X, X y, set Y, you know, set whatever. And then you gotta change the addresses, obviously to the ones that we got right here. Um, once you do that, it will auto update the addresses. Or not the address, but the values, sorry. Okay, cool. So now we have uh, a way to read our floats. We gotta get a way to set our floats, okay? Um, we're gonna go down here and double click on the button. And we're gonna say m.write memory. And we're gonna take the address of x, because we're doing x. And then we're gonna do uh, float because we're doing uh, float values. And we're gonna leave this empty. And then we're gonna say, we're gonna say plus um, text box one dot text because that's the first text box. And add a semicolon. And we're gonna do that for each one of them. Now remember, if you don't remember which one you did in order, you scroll down here, you can find the name text box one, or you can change it. It's up to you. But I know I did in order, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward or fast forward until all of them are finished, and then I'll come back. Okay, so all our addresses are done, so now if we go ahead and test them out. Um, it's our roll, and it's not working. Why is it not working? Did I get the right address? I did. So why is it not working? Oh, it is working. I'm brain dead. What the? Okay, <laughs> so our roll is working. I'm just a little slow, I guess. This is our pitch. This is our yell. And if we do X, uh, we're gonna do two, three, three, eight. It's all we moved. If we do 10, 20, it's all we moved. If we do 666, six, six. okay. Now that we have that all coded, we need a way to save our uh, data and then load our data. How do we do that? Well, we're gonna go down here and go ahead and generate the code for this. And we're going to make some strings here. And then we're gonna store um, the data inside this button. And then in the next button, we're going to load the data. So we're gonna do a string, which capitalization matters. String x, string y, string z. Then we're gonna do float underscore, not float underscore, I'm sorry, float save underscore x equals m dot read load. That's got 
the address of x. And then we're going to do that for each one of them. So we're going to do it for y, z. And then we're going to I'm gonna go ahead and copy these down and change them. Okay, I'm gonna get the addresses here. So it's our x. This is our y. This is our z. Alright, now we need to say um, x equals saved underscore x in computation matters dot to string and then we're gonna do semicolon so we do y equals saved underscore y dot to string and we're gonna do the same thing for z so z equals saved underscore z dot to string okay now we need to click on load and this is how we're going to write it so we do m dot write memory it's going to be the address float and this is going to be either x y and z so this is our x So now if we click save, and if I jump off here, spawn somewhere else, click load, I'll right back to the same location. That's all.